this problem from pair of straight line and the problem is if the equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c this is equal to 0 this is the general equation of second degree represent a pair of straight line it is given uh, equidistance from origin then we have to find out the correct alternative ok equidistance from origin the two straight line represented by this line let two straight line represented by the given line are let taken to be l1x plus m1y plus n1 this is one straight line and another is l2x plus m2y plus n2 this is equal to 0 ok now we compare by writing as ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c this is equal to l1x plus m1y plus n1 into l2x plus m2y plus n2 and comparing we get l1 n2 this is equal to a m1 n2 this is equal to b and n1 n2 this is equal to c ok this 3 are the first we write and now l1 m2 plus m1 l2 this is given by 2h this is the coefficient of xy and then l1 n2 plus n1 l2 this is given by the coefficient of x which is given by 2g and the last is m1 m1 n2 plus n1 n2 we write this clearly m1 this is given by 2f ok this 6 relation we have to keep in our mind we directly write this 3 this 6 relation ok then we solve this type of problem very fast now the distance of this line and this line from the origin we know that the distance is n1 by root l1 square plus m1 square and distance of origin from this line is given by n2 by root l2 square plus m2 square now from the given condition these two distance are same because it is said that equidistance from the origin so we write here n1 by root under l1 square plus m1 square this is equal to n2 by root l2 square plus m2 square ok now by cross multiplication and squaring both sides we write the result as n1 square into l2 square plus m2 square this is equal to n2 square into l1 square plus m1 square ok so we get from here this is n1 square l2 square minus n2 square l1 square and the right side is m1 square n2 square minus m2 square n1 square ok so we use the formula a minus b into a plus b we write first a plus b this is n1 l2 plus sorry plus n2 l1 we write first and the second is given by n1 l2 minus n2 l1 and the right side we not write here we directly put the value of this two term and this is given by this term is equal to what is n1 l2 plus n2 n1 we get from here is given by 2 g ok and we here use the formula this is given by n1 l2 plus n2 l1 whole square minus 4 l1 l2 n1 n2 ok this is the formula of a minus b whole square this is equal to a plus b whole square minus 4 a ok and the right side is also is given by 2 f because this is m1 m1 n2 minus m2 n1 sorry this is this is yes this is 2f 
and the second term is obviously second term is obviously 2f whole square now the second term is 4m1 m2 n1 m2 so this is given by 4bc now we put the value also in the left side we get the result as 2g into root 4g square minus 4 L1 L2 means A and L1 L2 means C, 4AC and the right side is 2F into root 4F square minus 4BC. Okay, now squaring both sides, we get the result as this is G into, sorry, G square into G square minus AC. This is F square into F square minus BC because 4 and 4 are cancelled out from both sides. So the result is g square minus f square. This is given by this is given by g square ac minus f square bc. Okay, and taking common c from here, we get g square a minus f square b. So we get the left side is sorry, this is g to the power four minus f to the power four, and right side is c into a g square minus minus b f square. And here the given option is given by f to the power 4 minus g to the power 4. We write this result by taking minus 1 common from both sides. We get the option number C. Okay. So C is the correct option for this problem. This is very very important type problem of pair of straight line.